Well, here we are again in tomato season, hot August tomato season, which we love. And another wonderful thing to do with tomatoes is make a tomato tart. This is a recipe that could not be easier. This week on What Would Michael Do? I will show you how. Let's go inside. The first thing we're gonna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Take one sheet of parchment paper and line a baking pan or a cooking sheet. Defrost one sheet of frozen puff pastry dough. Now let's go slice some tomatoes. I'm gonna shave off the tip and I'm gonna slice them, oh, I would say about a quarter of an inch. Not too thick and not too thin. Because there is so much liquid in the tomatoes, I'm just going to line them on some paper towel just for a couple of minutes to absorb some of that moisture so that we don't have a soggy tart. And that's really enough just to get up that moisture. We're going to spread a little bit of flour on our working surface. I'm going to gently roll out not too much this pastry dough and make it just a little bigger square than it already is. We're gonna roll this up and place it right onto our parchment sheet. We're gonna take our tomatoes that have been sitting on the paper towel and just overlap them, leaving about an inch and a half all the way around. And now with dry fingers, you're going to fold in each of your four corners at least twice, almost like a roll. Fold it in, roll it up, right up against the edge of your tomato. You can pull it a little, it's pliable, so don't be afraid, you're not gonna break it. Roll it up, tuck in your corners, sprinkle the top of this with some sea salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then we're going to just egg wash our corners for a nice golden crust finish. What you would normally do with any dough. There it is, let's pop that in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, we are about 18 minutes in and I don't know, that looks pretty perfect to me. A few things give me as much pleasure as fresh basil right out of the garden. So I'm gonna take a couple of big leaves I like to stack them and roll them. You can, you know, chop basil, of course, but doing a chiffonade is so much more elegant. Chop and roll and slice them real fine. And you've got a beautiful little sprinkle for the top of your tomato tart. You could add some Parmesan cheese. You could add a little oregano if you like, perhaps some thyme. It doesn't really need much. The freshness of those tomatoes with the salt and pepper and the puff pastry make for one delicious lunch treat. I like to put this on afterwards because if you bake it with the basil on it, it'll just turn brown and it's not nearly as good as fresh basil. Just a hint. You can put as little or as much of this as you like. I'm gonna shave a little Parmesan Pecorino Romano, if you like. Actually, that's what this is. And call it a day. That is our beautiful summer tart, fresh out of the garden.